We love Genesis here at Clutch Kick. We ignore the badge perception for the most part and try to remain as objective as possible. We do recognize the value of more prestigious brands such as BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, but this Genesis G80 Sport should not be ignored. This is the G80 Sport. So exclusive to the Sport is a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. It's actually the exact same engine that we had in the G90. It makes great power, 365 horsepower and 376 pound feet of torque. And it does 0 to 60 in about five seconds or so. The engine is pretty smooth, um, has great torque down low. Um, the turbo kicks in at about 1500 RPM. So there's great down low pull. Transmission is extremely smooth. Eight speed automatic, shifts pretty quickly, Tiny bit of delay when you pull on one of the paddles, but the actual shift is pretty quick. Now there are several drive modes that you can select from, Sport, uh, Normo, and Eco. We're not really going to talk about Eco, but Normal is a little bit more uh, comfortable, it changes gear a little bit uh, sooner, it doesn't try to hold gears as long. Sport mode, uh, it will hold the gear longer, it will change um, at a much higher RPM, and more importantly when you're using the paddles, it will actually lock in that gear and won't try to jump back into automatic mode. Handling wise, the G80 Sport falls a little short of that Sport designation. The handling is good, but it's lacking that sharpness that is definitely going to be present in things like a BMW 5 Series. Let's start with the steering. The weight of the steering is actually pretty good. I'm actually a big fan of uh, how they calibrate the weight of it. A lot of these electrically assisted units are a little bit too light. However, it's lacking a lot of feel and there's actually quite a bit of dead spot on center. It doesn't have any type of particular accuracy to the whole thing. On top of that, the different driving modes does not affect the steering uh, weight or feel at all. The brakes stop better than most Hyundai products that we've driven. Um, not a lot of uh, bite to it at the top of the pedal and still has a bit of softness um, to that as well. The rest of the handling, however, is, it is good. That's the best way I can put it. It's got a decent bit of body roll uh, and the car feels big. It doesn't feel heavy, but you can definitely feel the size of the vehicle. The G80 Sport weighs about 4,500 pounds or so, and it doesn't feel that heavy. Um, it actually feels lighter than that number suggests, uh, but it's not quite as sharp as the competition, I'm afraid. As for the way the G80 Sport corners, it's definitely on the softer side. It handles corners well, but there's a decent bit of body roll, and the rear feels like it just follows the front through corners rather than working in conjunction uh, in a cohesive package. Let's talk about luxury, because in my opinion, luxury is a core competency of Genesis. Starting with the ride, the ride is very comfortable. The Sport gets a special adaptive suspension that can compensate for bumps. It can stiffen up a tiny bit under harder cornering and you know, soften up a little bit on a smoother uh, straight roads like we are uh, right now. The suspension tuning is good over most surfaces. It's pretty well refined, as you can probably see from the camera. Um, although I found that on sharper bumps, such as recessed manhole covers, um, the ride can actually get a little bit jarring, and that to me was actually a surprise. In terms of noise level though, very, very good. Very little wind, uh, road, and tire noise get into the cabin. The windows are double paint, of course, like every other Genesis. The Genesis G80 also comes with a bunch of standard features, uh, including standard safety features such as blind spot monitoring, uh, lane departure warning, and backup camera as well. Things like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay are all standard. The G80 Sport sits in the middle of the lineup, and it actually comes in just one trim level. Every single option uh, that we're seeing here is standard. The only option that you can choose from is going to be all-wheel drive. The interior is also extremely high quality. The materials used are, are pretty good. It's got a couple of surfaces that look a little cheap and almost plastic-like, uh, but there's soft touches surface everywhere. Um, the leather on the steering wheel is excellent. The leather for the seats is excellent. The leather even has copper stitching that matches with the copper trim around the exterior of the car. The carbon fiber is okay. Andrew quite likes that, but I would prefer a matte finish on it personally. 
The seat's extremely comfortable, 16-way adjustable on the driver's side and 12-way adjustable on the passenger side. The driver has uh, bolster control uh, on the side right here, so depending on how big your body is, and also uh, you can extend the seat bottom as well if you have longer legs. The Lexicon sound system, 17 speakers, has really good volume, lacks a bit of fullness to the sound. The sound is great clarity, uh, but the low end and the mid uh, is just a little bit weak and the uh, treble, the high end, uh, is a little bit overpowered. The G80 Sport comes in a single trim level. The only option is rear or all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive will add a heated steering wheel. Once again, the G80 Sport represents another step in the company's goal to establish Genesis as a legitimate luxury brand. The G80 offers excellent refinement, value, and performance. The next step is additional chassis tuning, something that the competition has had decades to refine. It's something that I have no doubt Genesis and the rest of the Hyundai Auto Group will nail in no time.